Hey guys, welcome back to part 3 of Alexander and Bactria. We'll be playing through part 3, the Sogdi and Rak. So, instructions, Sogdi and Rak, April 327 BC. Alexander's army climbed the mountains of Sogdia in pursuit of the allies of the treacherous warlord Spidamines. The Sogdians had taken refuge in their mountain fortresses, where they had the resources to last for many months, while Alexander's army, hungry and decimated by casualties, would find no succor in the harsh mountain landscape. Spidamines and his Sogdians had destroyed whatever they could not carry to the mountain holds, leaving the countryside bare. Alexander needed to strike quickly and capture one of the fortresses to use as a base to assault the other Sogdian warlords. He demanded the submission of the first of these fortresses, but the defenders scoffed, telling Alexander that he would need men with wings to capture their fortress. Undeterred, Alexander sent a small band of lightly armed men to climb the sheer faces of the mountains. These would be Alexander's men with wings, and they would allow him to conquer Sogdia once and for all. Objective, capture four Sogdian fortresses by destroying their town centers. Hence, Alexander has a fixed amount of resources and cannot gather any more. Therefore, it is imperative to be economical with units, or Alexander will not have enough men to complete the objective. By taking the Sogdian fortresses, Alexander takes control of various useful military buildings. The first fortress only provides a barracks and an archery range, but later fortresses provide other buildings and more houses. It is unwise to spend all your resources after capturing only one fortress, as you will be able to train other types of units at fortresses later. Each Sogdian fortress concentrates on a particular unit type, scout ahead to determine your opponents and train suitable counters. And finally, some Sogdians support Alexander and will provide him with horse archers, provided they can be found in the mountain wilderness. Okay, gotta search for more horse archers, like in that first one. History. During the rule of Archaemenid Persia, Sogdia had been a border region protecting the Persians from the nomadic Scythians of the north. The Sogdians themselves were warlike and largely nomadic, occupying the mountains and valleys of modern-day Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. First, Bessus, then Spitamines, had attempted to organize Sogdian resistance against Alexander, but this collapsed with the Macedonians' conquest of Sogdian rock. Alexander founded military outposts in Sogdia, manned by Macedonian veterans, and encouraged the marriage of Macedonians to local women. Alexander himself would marry a Sogdian named Roxana, who would become the mother of Alexander's son. Alright, so we need to kill four town centers. Artist in play. Okay, so we have legions and slingers. Legions definitely are the stronger unit, but we need slingers to take out archers. Whoa, you guys are really bad at pathing. Okay. Okay, got two control groups set up. And let's see what do we have over here. It's a really nice terrain. Okay, nothing there. Can we use some scouting? The slingers have more line of sights. Uh, line of sight. Actually, the legions makes. I think I got that line of sight bonus on them. Okay, so some shallows down there. Brown ones are in the final age. Okay, so there's some red there. Let's go around this way, see if we can avoid them. Look at how these graphics. These guys are little oh look at the little the little slings, they wiggle as they walk. I wish that scroll speed kind of changed as you zoomed in and out. Okay, so the plan is to try to draw them in a couple at a time and fight on the hill with the slingers in the back. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Come on, keep chasing. There we go. Okay, good fight there. Good fight. 
And it's two paths we can take. Let's take the one that we can path onto. Nope, that's blocked. So we'll take the low road. We have some shallows. Now it looks like we can walk up and down the river a bit. Or not, there's a waterfall there. Maybe this way. Let's see if we can find some horse archers hidden somewhere. Nope, just a tower. The slingers can take out the towers, right? That probably means there's a fortress or something here. Some slingers can take out towers. We're just gonna avoid that tower for the moment. We just kill the town center. Go directly for it. Okay, we can take out the swordsman with the legions. It's not a problem. Okay, we still have a slinger alive. And now we just take out this town center. Zoom in here. Yeah, nice up close view of the town center destruction. There we are. Almost halfway. Oh, no, another swordsman. Take him out. There we go. And I can't see anything else when I'm zoomed in this far, but... Yeah, this is, this is how Age 1 was played back in the day. All the way zoomed in. Another swordsman. You. Got him. Oh, now I'm gonna lose the slinger. Oh well. I just wanna see this town center get destroyed. Look at the fire coming out of the water. Oh yes. Okay, we got one of them. Now where's these buildings I can use to train the troops? Oh yes, this build oh don't don't destroy the buildings. Horse archers? I think training horse archers is a good idea. Don't lose the houses either. So the legions have been working out pretty well for us. Okay, but we're just going to lose them for nothing to the tower. Oh, are they continuing to train more units? Hopefully they're supposed to have been defeated. Let's just make some horse archers. Because I like micro and horse archers. And take out this barracks while we're here. Could make some broadswordsmen, but they're they're not legions though. What we really need is a priest so we can kill. And the good thing about this guy too is we can use him to scout. And hopefully find some more horse archers. Just stay. Oh, nope. Yeah, he's not going to be good versus his composite bowmen. But we also know that slingers are not good versus composite bowmen because they don't have the range we need to take them out. Just ignore those guys there. There's a couple of towers here. Nothing we have is really good at taking out towers, though. I guess we'll need a few more broadswordsmen, too. Just to help take out the towers. So these guys do have one pierce armor, which makes me think they might be our best bet against the... against the other... the composite bowmen. Just sit here and shoot that house real quick. That's that's enough. Let's uh, let's go for the towers now. And hopefully we can do it in a way such that we only have to fight one tower at a time. But, all right. I don't let's shoot the horse archers. There we go. And just for purposes of completeness, let's finish off these short swordsmen in the back. 
Right. And we will also finish off that tower there. And the archery range, just so they don't train the units behind us. I don't think they will, but just let's be extra safe. And there you go. This gives us something to do while we... Okay, all of the units we have are trained. Let's go take out those bowmen. This guy's gonna finish that off. Okay, there's only two of them. Or three of them. But they don't have pierce armor, so they really don't pose a threat to the horse archers. And we now have more horse archers. Although they're not nearly as good as the ones we trained ourselves. They'll have to do. Okay, so we've explored the left side of the map. Top left side. Right, now some more composite bowmen coming up. So I think horse archer is a really good choice to deal with composite bowmen. You guys will go for the tower. You guys will go for that bowman. Start moving in. Right, you guys focus the bowmen so while the swordsmen go for the towers. Okay, let's try to focus that tower next. You guys will need to. Oh, that's a lot of bowmen. We need more horse archers. Uh, which we can make here. Yes. Okay, this is going not too bad. Just want to take it. Oh, we have a stable now. So we'll have to see if there's naturally a choice of units we can make from the stable that will be better than for searchers. Oh yes, we can upgrade them. Um, I would like the horse archer armor. Oh, we're in the Iron Age. Maybe that would let us upgrade to heavy horse archer actually. So let's uh, let's look at the tech tree. Real quick, make sure we can. Do we have heavy? Do we have heavy horse archer? That research cost is not correct, but it requires the chain mail for archers. So yes, we'll do that. Oh, these chain priests. We're gonna. Move. Okay, we have to kill these buildings first before we move on. Do not want anybody being converted. How's that doing? Thirty-three percent. At least I'm the Macedonian, so I really don't need to worry about conversions. Five. Oh yes, heavy horse archers. Best, best age one. Game. So much fun to micro. Well, at least they would be if the pathfinding were improved at all. Oh yes, even more horse archers. Perfect. I don't think they'll be updated to the heavy ones, though. Oh, well. Now brown. Ooh, they have they have four searches of their own. So I think we are in good company with our own four searches. I think horse archer versus horse archer. We should win with the upgrades and with more horse archers. Let's just go all the way down here and see if there's anything. Don't want to miss anything. Uh, there's maybe a secret passage here. Uh, no, not really. Alright, well, let's come back up here then. Take out their, the rest of their stuff then. And we'll have to run down there. Elephants would be nice for taking out towers, I guess. Alright, you guys just make a beeline for the tower. Well, we'll try to get these guys to stay in a formation down the narrow valley. A couple of elephants to draw our arrow fire probably would have been prudent there.
See if we can draw them out from the towers. Just can. Okay. Go, swordsman, go. Take out the towers. We're losing numbers here now. Important thing, though, is that we have the swordsman in front. And now they're starting to have a good mass of horse archers. Oh, we can't probably just out micro. Oh, we've actually lost all of our army there. Oh, we can make some uh, some hoplites. <laughs> um, okay. I was not expecting that much resistance. All right, left a guy here. Let's just make some more horse archers then. I did. Okay, was defeated. And one. I can't justify making an elephant there. Make another eight or so horse archers, and hopefully that will be able to take out the rest of these guys here. We only have. See, so they have two ranges and four towers. We'll need to take out those two towers before taking out the town center, which we should be able to do safely. But this is going to cost us the rest of our resources, and still about a quarter of the map left to go. Okay, so this is the rest of our army. I'm starting to think that maybe maybe a couple of elephants and more horse archers would have been better than the heavy horse archer upgrade. Just run you through. I don't think we'll be able to win that fight. Can we finish off this one tower here? We might be able to. Yeah, I think numbers are definitely more important here than upgrades. Now, unless we can do some... Unless we outrange the tower, which we do, but for some reason still can't. We can just do this for like ever. I don't know, there's another horse archer that I attracted the attention from. It's gonna take forever. This guy has to shoot the tower 150 times. Okay, so we're back to where we're attacking this fortress. This time I brought a couple of elephants with me. And they seem to be just unable to path into anything. So can I pick off that one horse archer? Yes, we can. We will take a few shots from the tower. Oh, this pathfinding. Okay, so elephants go for the towers, you guys go for the other tower. You guys are just going to run in and try to focus down the horse archers. Hope that we can kill enough of them that our army actually survives this time. Good. Go straight for the range. Alright, perfect, perfect, perfect. I think we have to take out the priest. Oh, he actually got a conversion on us when we're Macedonian? That cheese. Now we have to be extra careful with these elephants now. Because of those priests. I think we're down to only nine units. Let's 
close. Take out the range. And we, we can at least train more this time. There's more even, and one more elephant. Come forward as quickly as we can. And now we've taken out the archery ranges, so we've stopped their production. We do get an academy there. Oh, and a barracks, so we can train Axemen. Oh, and a stable. We need something just to hunt down. We're gonna go for a scout, see if the scout can hunt down the horse archer. They're just going to do some debating for us. Oh, yes, Lord, throw the guy back, and Elephant. Yes! Oh, Elephant does like zero damage to him. That's okay, he's concentrated on the Legion. Oh, we got him, yes. Now, as long as they don't train a priest. Alright, we've got this, we got this. We have a few elephants left over. Oh, and an archery range here. Nice, but we're out of resources. I think the trick actually is train all of your stuff at the very first base, so then you take fewer casualties later on. Run you guys past the towers. Same thing with you guys past the towers. Okay, there's some more horse archers there. We have all this wooden stone. They have cavalry there. So really would like some some hoplites now, but we'll have to deal with elephants. See if we can sneak the scout past them. Okay, perfect. Oh, so we can sneak our army past them on the side. Past those cavalry. Probably can't sneak past those ones. But now here's the part where we don't actually need to kill everything. We just need to kill a town center. Oh, it's a siege workshop. We don't have any we don't have any gold. I'm thinking we try to sneak our elephants down just like we did that scout. We just kind of need to figure out the lay of the land first. Where is the stuff that we can... Where is, or where is the stuff that we actually need to kill? Alright. Idea. Alright, so there is the town center. If we had heavy catapults, we could chop these trees and hit it from outside the cliff, but we can't. Hey, right, let's... So our hope has to be that the elephants are enough. I don't think they will be. We're going to have to try to be sneaky. Maybe take a fight here. But other than that, maybe just run straight for the town center is what we have to do. Okay, all of you guys first off. Stand ground. You move there. I can tell that they, they started firing. Nope. Alright, okay, not not too bad. Not too bad. As long as the elephants go first. Okay, I can't path find in this. What, what, what is this? They're just stopping. We have got everyone we can now. So the plan is elephants head straight for the town center while the horse archers run in to distract. You can at least take out the horse archer there. Oh, that's a lot of cavalry. But they are kind of focusing the horse archers and not the elephants, which can run towards the town center. Okay, let's see. Can the elephants take it out in time? I don't think they can. No, definitely not. We'll be able to do quite a bit of damage, though. Get it down to about halfway, probably. Under halfway. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll get the rest of the army here. And I had a bit of food left over, so I figured why not just train some Axemen. 
And I figure we're in a good position to start taking out these towers with the stone throwers. If they can path to shoot, that is. There we go. Take out one. Don't think we really need to worry about that one. Take out this second. Oh, not that far forward, please. There we go. That's better. Right, and we'll use the uh, the line of sight on these guys to do a tiny bit of scouting. There we go. So we'll we'll know what we're dealing with. All right. So we'll start by sending these guys forward, trying to clear a path. So horse archers and infantry forward first, I guess. Then we'll try to clear a path for the elephants to get to the town centers while the catapults or stone throwers will come up from behind. So we'll try to draw them kind of forward and to the right. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can actually use the stone throwers a bit to take out the horse archers. You guys just do what you can to shoot the TC while the elephants move up. We get a couple shots from the stone throwers on the town center. This is looking better. Got a few shots from the stone throwers, which is good. We have the elephants coming in. We have five elephants. I think we can take it down. Well, yeah, we got this. There we go. G. G. Alright, so... That one took a couple tries too, but mostly because of, uh... Because of pathfinding, messing stuff up, and then... You know, need to make some better decisions with those resources. That one was pretty good, though. Let's look at the... Z military. 78 to 50. Economy, religion, most technologies. They didn't have that many. I guess starting in the Iron Age versus starting in the Bronze Age is a huge difference in technologies. Kind of strange though that brown was in the Iron Age and not orange when orange was the last one. Oh yeah, we can look at those timelines as we defeat everyone. All right, let's read that ending. On Sogdian Rock, Alexander completed his conquest of Bactria and Sogdia. But the Macedonians who had, for the past seven years, campaigned with Alexander, saw a change in their young king. Alexander took a Sogdian wife, dressed in Persian robes, and behaved with all the fury, ruthlessness, and paranoia of the Persian kings. Alexander had conquered these harsh lands, but they had forever changed him. Alright, so that's the end of the prequel to the other Alexander campaign. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.